Weekend, the action comes to us with the Detroit Grand Prix. And while the event will generate millions of dollars from fans and vendors, one company has made a serious investment ahead of the race. Uh, Fox News' Dave Spencer is in studio with a look at the state-of-the-art racing simulator that uh, is designed to save automakers some money, huh? Yeah, this is pretty cool. I mean, I've actually got to see it in action, and it is something to see across the board. Automotive companies are trying to cut costs. One way to do that is by eliminating prototypes altogether, going from concept car to production. One way to do that, simulate a driving experience that's as close to the real thing as possible. That's something that's being done right here in Metro Detroit. Secret room, we're going to take you in here. That's where actually uh, we do all the virtual engineering. We have our, our $5 million simulator. With 6,000 employees globally, Multimatic, prides itself on being ahead of the curve. You know, our headquarters is in Toronto, but our, our research and development, a lot of it's done here in Novi. It's here where they're focused on the future of automation, looking to eliminate some of the bumps and bruises that typically come with innovation. All the things that sit, those underpinnings of the car that give you how it feels, how it goes over dirt roads and bumps and bottles, yeah. um, that all has to be tuned. Um, and normally that would take two, three, four years uh, of tuning work to really get it right and get it to the level that they want. We are able to do that in about a year with the virtual equipment. Which which brings us to simulated driving. Okay, that's the advantage of a simulator. If you just hit the reset button, <laughs> go again. <laughs> this machine is a significant investment, about $6 million, all to make each drive look and feel like the real thing. Still, it's a lot cheaper than making a car and taking it for a test drive. How much money are you saving on R&D when you're able to cut down uh, you know, the time by years? Yeah, it's millions of dollars saved. Here they test the limits of the vehicle without the worry of failing or injuries. Well, that's the beauty of doing it on a simulator, I'll show you. You just run through it and come back again. <laughs> that's way more comfortable than actually doing it. The payback comes from others who want to use this tech to gain an advantage. A lot of race teams can come and rent this. Take the Detroit Grand Prix, for example. The entire city track has been imported into the machine down to the uneven pavement and the tar lines on the road. See in the background the scan and the visuals from the Detroit Grand Prix track. This tech goes beyond racing. Automakers can use simulators just like this to improve everyday driving. We can do some of the Detroit roads. We use Coolidge Highway a lot. We use 696 for ride evaluation. So while racers eye the checkered flag, Multimatic is looking to give drivers everywhere a cost-saving advantage by taking the tech for a virtual test drive. So if you're going over a pothole, if you wanted to, you could proactively lift up your wheel, miss the pothole, and put it back down. If you're on a racetrack and the vehicle wants to lean to the right, you can actually put force into the car and say, no, lean back to the left. Pretty cool at Multimatic. The biggest advantage to using a simulator is the ability to make changes on the fly. They could change the suspension and the brakes at just the touch of a button as opposed to taking the car in and out of the shop. Another way this company saves time and money for automakers. For MoneyWorks, I'm Dave Spencer.